Hello everybody. I welcome you all to my fourth lecture on DC transients. In my first lecture, we have seen the introduction regarding DC transients and about initial conditions that is how resistor, inductor and capacitor behave before and after switching. In my second lecture, we have solved some tutorials on initial conditions. In my third lecture, we have derived the expressions for complete response of source free and source driven series RL circuits using differential as well as Laplace transform method. So in today's lecture, we shall solve some tutorials on the complete response of series RL circuit using both differential method as well as Laplace transform method. So before we go to solve some tutorials based on series RL source free and source driven circuits, let us once again remind ourselves the formulas that we use for series RL source free as well as source driven circuits. So for complete response of source driven RL circuit which has an input of either constant voltage or unit step voltage V into U of T. The general based formula is I of T is equal to I of infinity plus I of 0 minus I of infinity into E power minus T by tau where I of T is nothing but complete response. I of infinity is nothing but steady state response or forced response or particular solution and th this term that is I of 0 minus I of infinity into E power minus T by tau is transient response or natural response or complementary solution where tau is nothing but time constant of RL series RL circuit that is L by R. Source free RL circuit for an input of constant voltage V and unit step input voltage V into U of T the expression is I of T is equal to I naught into E power minus T by tau where I naught is the initial current flowing through the inductor and tau is the time constant that is nothing but L by R. So the first example is the switch is kept at position 1 and steady state condition is reached. So at T is equal to 0 the switch is moved to position 2 and he has asked you to find the expression for I of T. So before going to the sum first we should identify whether it is a source free or source driven circuit. So after you operate the switch that is in this case after the switch is moved from position 1 to position 2 as you can see when the switch is at position 2 there is no source connected to the RL circuit then this is nothing but source free RL. So first we should identify whether the given circuit after the switch is operated as source free or source driven RL circuit. And one more thing that we should remember regarding this problem is here when the switch is kept at position 1 it is given that steady state condition is reached. So, so it is mandatory that in such kind of problems that is if there are two switch positions then it is mandatory that we should consider the circuit is in steady state position at initial conditions. Whether this condition is given or not we have to assume that the steady state condition is reached initially when switch is at position 1. So we know that at steady state condition the inductor will act as short circuit. So let us first try to solve the sum using differential equation method. So let us draw first the circuit when it is in position 1. So as you can see when the switch is at position 1 we will have a voltage source in series with a 10 ohms as well as 20 ohms and 0 0.5 Henry inductor. So when the switch is at position 1 we will have a voltage source in series with 10 ohms and 20 ohm resistors and an inductor of value 0 
5 Henry. But since at steady state, this acts as short circuit. So we will have a voltage source in series with a 30 ohm resistor. Since these both are in series. And the inductor replaced by short circuit. So this current is we can say as I of 0 minus which is the initial current flowing through the inductor. So I of 0 minus is equal to 100 divided by 30 which is 3.34 amps. So we have obtained the initial current and we know due to the property of inductor I of 0 plus which is immediately after switching. So which will be equal to I of 0 minus which is 3.34 amps. So that, is, so that is the current flowing to the inductor before and after switching will never change. So therefore at T greater than 0. So the T greater than 0 indicates the switch is moved to position 2. So when the switch is moved to position 2, we will get a 2 20 ohm resistor in series with an inductor 0 0.5 Henry. So in the position 2, you will have a short circuit as you can see. So the circuit can be drawn as a 20 ohm resistor in series with an inductor 0 0.5 Henry's and this current that we should find is I of t. Since we can obviously say that this is source free RL circuit. So the expression for response for a source free RL circuit is I naught into E power minus T by tau where I naught is the initial current flowing through the inductor which we have got as 3.5 3, 4 amps and tau is the time constant which is L by R. So remember that tau should only be considered after the switching action takes place. So L value is here 0 0.5 and R value is 20. This I can write as 1 by 40. So therefore the expression for current I of t is nothing but 3.34 into e power minus 40 t amps. So now let us try to solve the same sum using Laplace transform method. So the initial current flowing is the same that is I of 0 plus is equal to I of 0 minus is equal to 3.34 amps. So in using Laplace transform method. So we have obtained initial value I of 0 plus is equal to I of 0 minus which is equal to 3.34 amps. So therefore at t greater than 0 we know that the circuit is a resistor of 20 ohms in series with an inductor of 0 0.5 Henry's the current is I of t. So after applying KVL 20 I of t plus 0 0.5 into di by dt is equal to 0. So therefore dividing 0 0.5 throughout I will get di by dt plus 40 I of t is equal to 0. Now applying Laplace transform on both sides. So di of di by dt becomes s into i of s minus i of 0 plus plus 40 into i of s is equal to 0. So I of 0 plus value is in a 3.34. So therefore S into I of S minus 3.34 plus 
40 i of s is equal to 0. So if I take i of s common, it is s plus 40 which is equal to 3.34. So therefore i of s is equal to 3.34 divided by s plus 40. Applying inverse Laplace on both sides. So i of s becomes i of t. This is in the form of 1 by s plus a. We know that inverse Laplace of 1 by s plus a is nothing but e power minus a t. So 3.34 is a constant into e power minus instead of a I have 40. So it is 40 t. So this is the expression for the complete response of this particular circuit using differential and Laplace transform method. So the second sum for the circuit shown the switch is closed at t is equal to 0. So he has asked us to find the expression for current I of t for t greater than 0 and also we have to find the voltage across inductor and resistor. Here after we operate the switch as you can see that the source is connected to the series RL circuit. So this circuit belongs to source driven series RL circuit. So initially when the switch is open I of 0 minus is equal to 0 amps. So due to the property of inductor the same current will flow immediately after switching. So therefore for T greater than 0. First let us do by differential equation method. On so for T greater than 0 so as you can see since it is a source driven RL circuit we know the general formula for a source driven RL circuit that is I of T is equal to I of infinity plus I of 0 minus I of infinity into e power minus t by tau. So this is the general expression of the complete response of source driven series RL circuit. So I of infinity. So in let me draw. So we know that when the switch is closed this is the given resistor value is 30 ohms and the source value is 60 volts. The current is I of t. So now for this circuit I of 0 is anyhow 0. So therefore I of infinity when this circuit goes into steady state the inductor will act as short circuit. So I will be left with only 30 ohm resistor. So I of infinity from this circuit I can write as I of infinity is nothing but 60 by 30. So that is nothing but 2 amps. So and tau is nothing but L by R which is L value is given as 15 and R value is 30. So it is 1 by 2. So we have obtained all the values just substitute everything in the general expression. So I of t is equal to I of infinity 2 plus I of 0 is 0 I of infinity is 2 into e power minus tau values 1 by 2. So t by tau is nothing but 2t. So therefore I of t is equal to 2 into 1 minus e power minus 2t amps. So this is the expression for the response in this circuit. So let us try by Laplace transform method. So anyhow I of 0 plus and I of 0 minus is 0. So for t greater than 0. So the circuit that we have when the switch is closed is resistor value is 30 ohms the inductor value is 15 henry and the source value is 60 volts so 
for doing in Laplace transform, let us apply KVL to this loop. So, in applying KVL, I get 30 into I of T plus 15 into DI by DT is equal to 60. If I divide 15 throughout, then I will get DI by DT plus 2 into I of T is equal to 4. Now applying Laplace transform on both sides, I will get S into I of S minus I of 0 plus plus 2 into I of S is equal to the Laplace transform of a constant A is nothing but A by S. So it is 4 by S. So anyhow this value is equal to 0. So if I take I of S as common, it is S plus 2 which is equal to 4 by S. So therefore I of S is equal to 4 by S into S plus 2. So since I of S is equal to 4 by S into S plus 2 by partial fractions let us try to find the values of A as well as B. So uh, A value on solving that is 4 by s plus 2 on substitution s is equal to 0 I will get 2 and b 4 by s plus s when s is equal to minus 2 I will get the value as minus 2 sorry i of s is equal to so instead of a I have 2 so it is 2 by s minus 2 by s plus 2 Applying inverse Laplace, this becomes I of t is equal to inverse Laplace of 1 by s is 1. So, I will be remain with 2 minus inverse Laplace of 1 by s plus a is e power minus a t. So, 2 into e power minus 2 t. So, therefore, I of t is equal to 2 into 1 minus e power minus 2 t amps. We also must find voltage across inductor as well as resistor. So voltage across resistor is I of T into the R value is 30. So this expression becomes 60 into 1 minus E power minus 2T volts. So VL of T. That is voltage across inductor is L into di by dt. So 15 into di by dt. So that is VL is equal to 15 into the derivative 2 minus 2 into e power minus 2t. Since 2 is a constant, the first derivative is 0 minus 2 into derivative of e power minus 2t is e power minus 2t into minus 2. 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 15 is 60. So therefore, VL of t is equal to 60 into e power minus 2t volts. So this is the expression for the current response as well as the voltage across the resistor and inductor in this side. So the third example. The switch is kept at the position 1 and steady state condition is reached. At t is equal to 0, the switch is moved to position 2. Find the response for current at t greater than 0. So since here we have voltage sources at both the positions, so after you move the switch also the source will be connected to the series RL circuit. So this is source driven series RL circuit. So initially for T less than 0, when the switch is at position 1, I have a voltage source 40 volts in series with 
फोर्टी ओम रेजिस्टर एंड एन इंडक्टर ट्वेंटी मिली हेनरी बट वी हैव टू एज्यूम दैट दैट इट इज इन स्टडी स्टेट पोजिशन सो द इंडक्टर विल बिहेव एज शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट सो देर फोर फोर्टी वोल्स इन सीरीज विथ ओनली फोर्टी ओम रेजिस्टर दिस करेंट इज नथिंग बट आई ऑफ जीरो माइनस आई ऑफ जीरो माइनस इज नथिंग बट फोर्टी बाई फोर्टी विच इज वन नैम सो ड्यू टू द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इंडक्टर दिस विल ऑल्सो बी ईक्वल टू आई ऑफ जीरो प्लस फॉर टी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सिंस दिस इज अ सोर्स ड्रिवन आर एल सर्क्यूट द जनरल एक्सप्रेशन इज आई ऑफ टी इज ईक्वल टू आई ऑफ इंफिनिटी प्लस आई ऑफ जीरो माइनस आई ऑफ इंफिनिटी इंटू ई पार माइनस टी बाई ट so uh, let me draw the circuit when the switch is moved to position 2 so instead of 40 volts i'll have 10 volts so 10 volts in series with 40 ohms and 20 milli henry inductor in the expression for i of t so when this circuit goes into steady state the inductor will act as short circuit so i of infinity will be 10 divided by 40 that is 0.25 amps the time constant tau is l by r which is l value is 20 milli henry and r value is 40 ohms so therefore it is nothing but 1 by 2 milliseconds so therefore on substituting all the value in this general expression i of t is equal to 0.25 plus i of 0 plus value is 1 so 1 minus 0.25 into e power minus t by tau which is 2000 so i of t value is nothing but 0.25 plus 1 minus 0.25 is 0.75 into e power minus 2000 t amps so now let us try by laplace transform method let me first draw the circuit so we'll have a voltage source of value 10 volts resistor 40 ohms and an inductor 0.20 milli henrys so on applying kvl 40 i of t plus 20 into 10 power minus 3 di by dt is equal to 10 so dividing by 20 into 10 power minus 3 throughout i will get di by dt plus 2000 i of t is equal to 500 now applying laplace transform on both sides i will get s into i of s Minus I of zero plus plus two thousand into I of s is equal to fifty by s. I of zero plus value is one, so I of s when I take common, I'll get s plus two thousand is equal to when I send this value to the right hand side, it becomes one plus five hundred by s so therefore i of s is equal to is nothing but 1 by s plus 2000 plus 500 by s into s plus 2000 or this i can also consider as i of s is equal to 
I consider S into S plus 2000 then this becomes S plus 500 when applying partial fractions this is A by S plus B by S plus 2000 so on solving this values constant A 500 plus S by S plus 2000 S is equal to 0 which I will get 0 0.25 and B is 500 plus S by S and S is equal to minus 2000 and I will get the value as 0 0.75 so the expression for I of S becomes I of S is equal to 0 0.25 by S plus 0 0.75 by S plus 2000 inverse applying inverse Laplace transform on both sides so I of T is equal to 0 0.25 inverse Laplace of 1 by S is anyhow 1 plus 0 0.75 into E power minus 2000 so this is the expression for the response of this circuit using Laplace transform method. The fourth example here is asked us to find the expression for I of t for t greater than 0. So initially the switch is open so initially when the switch is open 50 ohm resistor will be included in the circuit so as soon as you close the switch we will get a short circuit path here so that means this resistor will have will not be included in the circuit so only 10 ohms resistor will act in the circuit so initially for t less than 0 the circuit is a 10 ohm 10 volt source in series with 10 ohm resistor as well as 40 ohm resistor in series with 0 0.4 Henry so initially when I assume the circuit is in steady state the inductor will act as short circuit so therefore I of 0 minus will be nothing but 10 divided by 50 that is 1 by 5 amps so next after I close the switch so the 40 ohms will be eliminated so I will have only 10 ohm resistor in the circuit so for T greater than 0 I will have a 10 volt source in series with a 10 ohm resistor in series with an inductor of value 0 0.4 Henry so since this is a source driven series RL circuit I of T is equal to I of infinity plus I of 0 minus I of infinity into E power minus T by tau so when this circuit is in steady state the inductor will act as short circuit so therefore I of infinity will be nothing but so since this is short the current will be 10 by 10 which is 1 amp so therefore tau the time constant value will be nothing but L value is 0 0.4 divided by R value will be 10 which is I can write as 1 by 25 so on substitution of all the values I of t is equal to I of infinity 1 plus I of 0 values 1 by 5 minus 1 into e power minus 25 t so this becomes I of t is equal to 1 minus 0 0.8 into e power minus 25t amps 
so this is the expression obtained by using differential equation method let us try using laplace transform method so for so initially anyhow i of 0 plus is equal to i of 0 minus which is we have obtained that as 1 by 5 amps so therefore for t greater than 0 let me redraw the circuit I have a 10 volts in series with a 10 ohm resistor and an inductor 0 0.4 Henry the current is I of T applying KVL I get 10 into I of T plus 0 0.4 di by dt is equal to 10 dividing by 0 0.4 throughout I will get di by dt plus 25 i of t is equal to 25 so applying Laplace transform on both sides I will get s into i of s minus i of 0 plus plus 25 i of s is equal to 25 by s so when I take i of s as common I will get s plus 25 minus i of 0 plus value is 1 by 1 by 5 which is 25 by s so therefore i of s into s plus 25 will give me 25 by s plus 1 by 5 so therefore this i can again write as i of s is equal to 25 by s into s plus 25 plus 1 by 5 by s plus 25 if i take lcm and this i can simplify as 25 plus 0 0.2 s by s plus s into s plus 25 so by partial fractions this is a by s plus b by s plus 25 so a value is nothing but i will get as 1 and b value i will get as z minus 0 0.8 so therefore I of s will be 1 by s minus 0 0.8 by s plus 25 so apply, applying inverse Laplace transform on both sides so I of t will be 1 minus 0 0.8 into e power minus 25 t amps so this was the expression for current in both differential as well as Laplace transform method let's consider fifth example the switch is in position 1 for 0 0.01 seconds then change to position 2 find the time at which current is 0 and reverses its direction so from the previous four cases we have seen that the switch is being operated at a t is equal to four zero seconds but in this case the switch is being operated at 0 0.01 seconds so always remember that if in the given circuit the switch is operated other than t is equal to zero seconds then you will have three cases to consider for that circuit so in this case since that switch is being considered operated at 0 0.01 seconds so the three cases that i should consider is one is t less than zero second one is the t when it is between 0 to 0 0.01 seconds and when t is greater than 0 0.01 seconds so let us see how we can find the 
time at which the current is zero and reverses direction so before finding the time at which the current is zero first we should know what is the expression of current in this circuit so first let us derive the expression for current in this circuit so initially when the switch is moved from position 1 to position 2 we assume that the switch is open for t less than 0 so always remember we assume that for such kind of problems we assume that initially the switch is opened at t less than 0 then the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 at position 1 and from position 1 to position 2 the switch is operated at 0 0.01 seconds so this assumption is done only when the switch is being operated other than 0 seconds so initially we assume that the switch is opened for t less than 0 since switch is open obviously i of 0 minus will be equal to 0 amps so next let us consider the time interval between 0 and 0 0.01 seconds so i'll try to solve this using differential equation method so when the switch is at position 1 we can say we can see that a 100 volt source is connected so it is source driven rl circuit so when the time is in between 0 and 0 0.01 seconds let me draw the circuit we will have a voltage source of 100 volts in series with a resistor 5 ohms and an inductor 0 0.1 henry let us try to find the expression for i of t in this case so since it is source driven series rl circuit we know the expression that is i of t is equal to i of infinity plus i of 0 minus i of infinity into e power minus t by tau so when this circuit is in steady state then the inductor will act as short circuit so i of infinity will be 100 divided by 5 which is 20 amps so therefore the time constant tau is nothing but l by r l value is 0 0.1 and r value is 5 which is i can write as 1 by 50 anyhow one i of 0 is 0 amps so let us substitute all the values in the general expression so i of t is equal to i of infinity which is 20 plus i of 0 is 0 minus i of infinity is 20 into e power minus 50 t so i of t is equal to 20 into 1 minus e power minus 50 t amps so this is the expression for current in between the interval 0 and 0 0.01 seconds so before we go so before we find the expression for current for t greater than 0 0.01 seconds we must know what is the value of the current at 0 0.01 seconds so i'll substitute t is equal to 0 0.01 in this expression so therefore i of t i'll write the expression once again i of t is equal to 20 into 1 minus e power minus 50 t amps so at t is equal to 0 0.01 seconds i of 0 0.01 is equal to 20 into 1 minus e power minus 50 into 0 0.01 so therefore the value of current at 0 0.01 seconds if i simplify this i will get 7.86 amps so 
so we so for t greater than 0.01 seconds as we know that at 0.01 seconds the switch is operated from position 1 to position 2 so i will draw the circuit so that is minus 20 volts in series with 5 ohms and an inductor of 0 0.1 hindis this is i of t so since this is a source driven rl circuit the general expression is i of t is equal to i of infinity plus here instead of i of 0 we should write i of 0 0.01 because in this interval the initial value will be nothing but i of 0 0.01 seconds so i of 0 0.01 minus i of infinity into e power minus instead of writing t by tau since we are considering for t greater than 0 0.01 seconds so it is e power minus t minus 0 0.01 by tau so i of t is equal to so if this circuit is reaching steady state the inductor will act as short circuit so i of infinity will be minus 20 by 5 which is minus 4 amps so tau value is nothing but l by r your L value is 0 0.1 by 5 which will be 1 by 50. So let us substitute all the values in this general expression I of infinity which is minus 4 plus I of 0 0.01 seconds that is 7.86 amps minus of minus 4 then that becomes plus 4 into E power minus t minus 0 0.01 by tau so therefore if i simplify i of t is equal to minus 4 plus this becomes 11.86 into e power minus tau value is 1 by 50 so it becomes 50 into t minus 0 0.01 so this is the expression for current for this circuit so but we have asked to find the current or so we have asked to find the time at which the current becomes zero so in order to find the time at which the current becomes zero we have to equate this expression to zero so when I equate this expression to 0 minus 4 plus 11.86 e power minus 50 into t minus 0 0.01 is equal to 0. So this becomes 11.86 e power minus 50 into t minus 0 0.01 is equal to 4. So e power so which implies e power minus 50 into t minus 0 0.01 is equal to 4 divided by 11.86 this value is 0 0.33 now from this minus 50 into t power uh, 50 into t minus 0 0.01 is equal to so this becomes log of 0 0.33 so this value is minus 1.10 so from this t minus 0 0.01 will be equal to minus 1.10 divided by minus 50 which will be 0 0.02 so therefore t is equal to 
zero point zero two plus zero point zero one, which will be t is equal to zero point zero three seconds. So this is the time at which the current flowing to the circuit becomes zero. So he is also asked to calculate the time at which the current direction will reverse so since at t is equal to 0.03 seconds the current value is becoming zero obviously at t greater than 0.03 seconds the current direction reverses so this ends my fourth lecture on dc transients that is on tutorials on series rl source free and source driven circuits using differential and laplace transform method in my next lecture we shall continue solving some more tutorials on series rl circuits using differential equation method and laplace transform method thank you